Bob Dylan famously crooned, you don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows. But this early season, you do need a glossary to know which way a stock goes. Because we've had so many convoluted explanations for disappointing quarters <laughs> that it's almost impossible to tell what's really going on. So tonight, I'll be your translator. Wall Street gibberish to plain English is my specialty. Last night, for example, Mark Benioff, the co-CEO of Salesforce.com, a stock that I own for my, for my travel trust, said his customers are being measured in their buying. Measured. That's a word we've heard a lot of lately. It's an extraordinary statement in this case from someone who's usually a great closer, meaning he can normally sit down with the top-level execs who matter and close deals almost on the spot. When you're betting out saying the customers are more measured, it means that executives who normally agree to take a Salesforce product with alacrity now have to run it up to the CEO, the CFO, maybe even the board of directors. It's amazing to me that even Salesforce, which is so integral to so many organizations, has started running into measured situations. But businesses have gotten more conservative about spending money here. They don't want to add too many new costs going into a slowdown. Now, I think it's a mistake to be measured about Salesforce because their software helps you control costs and bring in revenue and also, of course, eliminate more expensive workers. And that's why it was so stunning to hear a term like that out of Benioff's mouth. I knew it was going to crush the stock. And to be sure, neither of the clients of Snowflake last night or Workday tonight were measured. Hmm. In short, measured means that it's harder to win business. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.